side the way it is? Uh, so yeah, kind of. Plus it's like, plus it's already like black. The way it waves and it kind of like frizzes out. It frizzes bit. out. Yeah. yeah. You know who? <laughs> you know who does that is um, Vic. Vic, uh, Vic, he's from Pierce the Veil. Vic Vitus, I think his name is. See, that was an American name, and I know... Uh, he's Spanish. Espanol. All right, see, that wasn't a Japanese name, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now, game one between Nam and Ryuga for winner's finals here. Yeah, uh, Ryuga's showing up today. He said he oh, actually yeah. told me, he's like, I'm, man, I haven't been feeling that great because I haven't been doing that well at Michigan Locals. Yeah. Even though out of state, you know, he was taking sets off 60 WX. Yeah. But today's his day. Yeah, it's good to see him coming back, putting up a good show for everyone here. Yeah. And, and Nam's Nam been doing the same. He's been playing extremely well today. He's had a couple of sets that he should have lost, but he's yep. so good at, like, keeping his composure that uh, he was able to close it out. Now he's in the winner finals. Yeah, it's amazing compared to where he was a year ago because, like, back a year ago, his mentality could be shattered pretty easily, but now it's definitely gotten a lot more solid, so it's a lot harder to shake him off his game. It is. I think, I think it's due to the long hair. It's like that Bible story. <laughs> you know where he's, like, the, the guy's really strong? Was Samuel, Sam I think? Yeah, e either Samuel or Samson. Sa Samsonite, no. Eh. Shout out to Dumb and Dumber in the movie. Something with the name, S in the name. Yeah. Uh, right Ooh! now. These tippers. are treating pins from Ryuga are quite nice. Yeah, I mean, it really helps him keep out Nam's aggression. It really forces Nam to have to think when he wants to try and get on him. Because that comes out so fast, Ooh! like that right there. That forward smash just angled down so perfectly. So, yeah, so the reason Ryuga did that, and it, it's, it's a habit that Nam's had for a while now, he'll do the. Um, the Vanish Recovery, mm -hmm. where he'll go high, so he, he... Okay, you know how Vanish Recoveries work? You can't get two-framed if you go above the ledge. Mm -hmm. He's been doing that quite a bit. He'll do it right here. Uh, yep. So what Ryuga did is he's like, you're going to do that? I'm just going to I'm just gonna stab you with this Lance. Yeah, and I mean, if you're that close to the stage, it's so easy for Ryuga to hit that kind of stuff. Even the tip, okay. Like, let him go of shield, but uh, he let it regenerate, so it, you know, wouldn't, break, it wouldn't even have a chance to break. Yeah, and I'm looking for a Panic Oscar from Ryuga there, but not mm -hmm. giving it to him. Dancing around and finding the grab, just kind of making Nam, forcing Nam to miss spaces aerials that are, uh, you know, unsafe for you to get. Finding a couple of grabs now, sending Nam off stage. Dragon Ooh. Fang not able to reach, but the, the little ball hits. Yeah, so I mean, Nam's not going to get much off that, but Ryuga's still living in 113%, and all this rage is definitely going to be hurting Nam right now. Yeah, Corn is a little heavy. Not just that, but Corn hits hard, and with this rage, those tippers are going to be even more scary. Yeah, and how, how light uh, Sheik is, it's crazy. I saw Sheik die to a short Yukon at like 60. I was like, what? Disgusting. That is pretty gross. Back right now, just, able to find it. Just the closest of footsies right now. Just all these minor movements from these players trying to throw each other off, find that opening, but Ryuga with the pin. Not <gasps> gonna, no. Is he going to homie stock him? Nope. No, I mean Honestly, homie stacking in Smash 4 is like getting rid of half your socks. Oh, plus he yeah. uh, is on his last stock, so I'm an idiot. Yeah. And now he's uh, now he doesn't have one. Yeah, I mean uh, that dragon was definitely hungry. Yeah, super hungry dragon. Riga, Riga playing like a madman. Yeah, uh, he's uh, got a little nom 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 right now. FYI, this is um, best of five. Hey, we got best time today. Yeah, we do. It was a, it wasn't like a small bracket, but it wasn't big. Yeah, but it was definitely a packed bracket, that's for sure. It, w it was pretty packed. I think it was like, there was definitely, like, the, the lower portion of it was kind of low, but the, once you got up, it, like, it, like, um, yeah, like to the 30s. it escalated very, very quickly. Yeah, it definitely ramped up. It w it got, it w the skill went up exponentially. That's a good way to put it. Thank you. I was trying to think of it for, like, the whole time yeah. we were talking. So actually, would exponentially be right? Maybe yeah. logarithmically. Mm, logarithmic is a little faster. Yeah, because I feel like it was more. Well, exponential just explains it going up in a in a um, yeah uh, non-linear fashion. Where it's like yeah, I guess it depends on how you prefer your grasp. But anyways, match time. Yeah. <laughs> Enough about the ma the twenty thousand math classes we had to take in college <laughs> <laughs> for our degree. Uh, oh, Nam right now, unanswered. He's in all he's cooking. Percent. He's saucing him up. Oh, but no. that was sick. Jeez. Yo, can I get that boneless, though? Yeah, I mean, that's a nice combo from Ryuga, but that's still a long ways to go to answer all that percentage and that forward air forcing Ryuga uh, out. Down throw. I'm surprised he didn't back throw just to try to get the edge guard, but he knows that um, Sheik's recovery is, like, really safe, so there's mm -hmm. not really a point. So keeping him on the yeah. platform here is, is, is quite a good decision. Yeah, I mean, anything you can do to keep Sheik out of neutral really limits her game. Oh, wow. reading oh, that oh, jump. Oh, oh, oh. 
Nam was ready for that. I mean, you just saw him just pressure and pressure him. It's like Regis is like, yeah. I gotta get out of this. I love when Nam has those like eye popping reads where he reads something so hard. Yeah. Like when he uh, does like the up smash tippers on people. Oh, oh. it's beautiful. Makes you wonder if Zero suddenly possessed his body or something. Mm. <laughs> he might not have to play Diddy Kong for that, but he does. He does play Sheik. Yeah. Using the shots on the platform and then just barely able to power shield that back air as well. Yeah. Now I'm just knowing every step of the way that Ryuga's taking. Yeah, he's doing a much better job of just dancing around Korin's range and punishing the end lag on certain options that Korin uses. Mm. Yeah, Kor Korin, honestly, most sword characters as well, just have a good amount of lag on their moves. Korin, not as much, but it's still there for Sheik with a quick frame data to just kind of get him for the punish. Yeah, not just the frame data, but the speed to match it up because exactly. you still have to be able to run past that disjoint after it's gone. Mm. Ooh. Using and that nerd to defend out against the side beat. I thought he had that down tilt. That would have led yeah. uh, maybe perhaps to an off air or maybe just a bouncing fish. Still getting the fares off these throws. Ooh, trying to two frame him right there. It's the back air. Yeah, and I'm not trying to rush this right now because he'd like to keep this first stock that he's still on right now. Oh, that was a great mix up by wow. Nam. Ryuga didn't exactly expect it. Either that or he kind of tech flubbed. Either way, Nam maybe. making it back. Yeah. Getting the Nair here, so close to taking off the stock and still living despite that back air strength. Oh, he is just mixing up like crazy right now. He is, and he doesn't even care. He's just going to go off stage as low as he can go. Doing the limbo, maybe even some would say. Back yeah. coming out clean, though. Yeah, Ryuga definitely needed that to start getting himself back into this game because he has the rage to start racking up damage, but he's got to be wary of Nam's setups for the kills because if Nam can get that setup, that can lead to... Game two for Nam's favor. Yeah, yeah. It would be Ryuga's counter pick, but it's it's a best of five, so yep. we got we got some time to work with here. This yeah. is a great best of five, by the way, in winners finals for sure. Yeah, I mean definitely a lot of technical skill coming out from both these players, a lot of minor movements to try and bait out certain options from the other opponent. So it's Oh the down air, oh. but nice punish <laughs> by Nam. He's getting a lot of mileage off these vanishes. Yeah. He's making the stocks vanish, for real. <laughs> That was an easy one. That was low, low hanging fruit right there. Uh, hashtag Gucci puns. Oh, you want to hear the newest pun? The, the freshest pun that oh, I came tell. up with? Okay, so me and Try Hard Train should actually team yep. so we can be Pac Man and Robin. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm about to tweet that out, but I don't have data right now. Rip. Oh, yeah, that jump read was wonderful. I mean, he had just forced Riga so far. It's like he couldn't try and go back down because he was so high up. That gave Nam yeah. so much time that he had to try and get over him. Very, very aware of the situation for sure he was. Right now starting off strong with a good pin here. Yeah. Um, the thing is, like when you when you start pinning people, they're going to start shielding a lot earlier because of like, the, the, the it's so long range, but you can start going in for dash grabs when they start doing that. So yeah. Hopefully we'll see Ryuga kind of mix it up a little bit. Nam's mix-up game also very good. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of interesting to see how the two interact because with Nam, it's a lot of these flashy combos that rack up the damage real quick. But with Korin, it's like you get two or three hits and it's like there's all that damage that Sheik just did in a much shorter time. Yeah, way shorter amount of time. I was trying to push him off stage here. Uh, more even game than the, the, the first two. It seemed like the first, like Nam had like, this amazing start. That breathtaking start. Oh, yeah. He took him to all the way to 82, almost like JV to uh, his first stock. Yeah, this time around, Ryu doing a much better job keeping up with Nam here, but Nam is constantly pressuring his recovery off stage, making him work for every inch to get back towards that ledge. Yeah, well, even when he gets to the ledge, he's covering it uh, really well. Both these players, honestly, uh, Ryuga, one of the best known Korins for uh, the ledge pressure. Oh, no doubt about that. Wow, dropping down really low to get below that. I'm trying to fade back. Korin's aerial, aerial mobility is no. not the best, but that wow. pin cross stage. <laughs> Ow. That is impressive spacing. It didn't even look like he died that wrong. It was just that's such a strong movement with the rage and the percent yeah. that Nam was at. Yeah. And I mean, that's the scary thing about Korin. You try and stay back to try and guard the get up. It's like Korin can just hop up and do the side B there and just completely neutralize that defense. Finally, the grab back throw. Finally getting the jump again, but this time uh, Ryuga are just aware of the situation, finding his way past it, pressing the R button. Yeah, always good to see players learning from their past mistakes during a set. 
I mean, yeah, you can learn from your mistakes, but if you're learning them after the match is over, you probably lost the game. Yeah, mid match is, is, is quite good. Ooh. Oh, that usually the bouncy fish usually does beat it out, but it's like on startup. You have to get it on yeah. startup, I believe. Yeah, it's really tricky, and there's also just a very small area between the wings, if I remember correctly, but it's so ridiculously hard to hit and rare to see that it's one of those things that you end up forgetting about. Right, and, th and that's that's a big part of Smash, is making your opponent forget about something and mm -hmm. then using it when they don't expect it. Cool. Catching the empty hop there from Nam and getting stage control here, see what we're, we can end up doing with it. Now I'm, they bo both these players do quite a bit with stage control, though this game... Ryugas has been doing a little bit better job of getting the punishes that he needs, but right now, Jeez. Nam is, this is it, that, 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 that was wow. a sick combo. Yeah, that was about to be a Hang on, he's still going. He's still going. Sheikville. Not anymore. <laughs> Ryugas like, be quiet. <laughs> I'm out here. I'm out here trying, I'm, I'm out here, man. <laughs> trying to show what I can do. Man, I mean, he's reversing it. Might be able to get, I thought he was going to instant pin, but it wouldn't have reached. Back air just being a little bit safer. I mean, Ryu is just really trying to bait out some sort of unsafe option from that. Wow. You gotta love those elevator pins. <laughs> yeah, actually, Nam like made a weird face when I have it. He's like, what the? Welcome to Corn Physics, folks. Yeah, this is very strange. Where the pins don't count and the lances don't matter. Uh, shout out to who's line. Dash Jet coming in. Now I'm just getting the simple ones. Ooh. Almost had If he gets a vanish read, he might actually get the kill here. Yeah, I mean, rage. honestly, even if he can get a good grab here and a good read like that right there, trying to go for the vanish, but that up throw, not going to Whoa! Take, I mean, you saw them both leaning back. They both thought Nam was dead. Yeah, I, I oh. certainly did. Yeah, not, no, not living that one. Man, that is Ryuga a taking a sip of his drink. Yeah. He's thirsty for this win, man. He is. Well, so is Nam. Nam wants it, too. Look. Yeah. Who's <laughs> the thirstier of the two? We'll find out. I don't know. S2J. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen S2J at Smash Summit. It's three out of five. There was a GIF of him where he um, a GIF. No, the per people that invented it called it a GIF. Well, society has decided to call it a GIF. No, that is also wrong. It is when you were making a, a formal speech or something, they uh, both of them are correct. Thirdly, say Jin. Jin, as in like. G -I, like G, no, G I N. Yeah, what about it? Jif, Jin. They both start with G. Then they have an I and then a consonant. Yeah. But the problem is, GIF follows Stand up with an F. So that creates a hard G sound for the J. No, I never learned that in English class. Say giraffe. Giraffe, but that's not the same amount of letters. Fair if much. you had an E at the end, I don't know. English is weird. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah, that's also true. But uh, both of them are correct, honestly. Yeah. Uh, that was stated by Barack Obama, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once again, pretty even start between two players right now. Yeah, which we, we saw game two. But the thing is, when it's even like this, I feel like Corrin has the advantage. Just because Ooh. you can kill that early. Wow. Eye-popping stuff from Ryuga. I mean, that dragon bite... It's just so strong when it's fully charged that like that. That shield was amazing. So, man, I mean, Ryuga definitely wants to close out this These set some here. nerdy combos. You know he's lapped this in the, in the house. I mean, oh, just about lapped that man. Yeah. Finding his openings and getting exactly what he needs. And not, I don't want to say he looks flustered, but he's trying to play. He's trying to force his situation a little more. Okay. Yeah. That didn't look on purpose just because Nam shook his head, and Nam typically doesn't give up, but he was he, he was starting to get greedy. Yeah. 